Good day guys, my name is Pistachio and today we are taking a look at something pretty special. It's a new contender in the mousepad space hailing from the oceanic region. In 2022, a company surfaced by the name of Focus. They were an AUNZ based brand that wanted to kind of shake things up and make artisan quality pads that can be bought locally and also wanting to have a competitive price in comparison to the general OEM stuff you'd get from your Kmart or EB games. So kind of to fast forward some development and postpones with the manufacturers, we finally have a finished product that I've been using for the last week. I present to you the all new Focus Ambition Pad, coming in at 490 by 422 millimeters in size and 3.5 millimeters thick. I personally pre-ordered it just when production ended and they even sent out a little gift to every customer, which was an arm sleeve that they're still testing before the official release. Pretty dope. But of course, I have to focus on the pad. Aha, aha. Uh, first off is the packaging. I was met with this super sleek black flat pack square and minimal branding. It showcases a pretty modern look and I do quite enjoy it. Next up, we'll have to get into the first impressions though. When I first opened the package, it genuinely looked like the black artisan zero mid I have laying in my closet. So here's kind of a small comparison to the visual of them without going into really heavy details. And of course, except for the artisan logo in the bottom right, we have this nice striking white arrow which has ties to the Focus brand. Pretty straightforward stuff, but we have to delve deeper into it. First off, we have to get into the base, which I think was the biggest guarantee. The Ambition Pad is made of Japanese artisanal materials, so of course that means Poron as the base. It sits at roughly 3.5mm thick and has the industrial poron that kind of acts as a strange mixture between a soft medium base, leaning more towards a mid in comparison to your regular extra soft, soft or mid artisan bases. So basically a tiny bit of plush but still denser than the normal soft bases. And seeing as that's the case, it'll make a difference on the grip as well. The base has a traditional circular dot pattern as the base, roughly the same as what we see on the zero mid. Even so, it doesn't make a ton of difference in how the mid pour on base act. The grip is pretty well mid, I guess. It doesn't stick well to a surface, but it's not super slippery. If I push it from the side, it will easily slide in the force direction. But of course, with your casual office and gaming use, it won't move at all. Well, not much, unless you make heavier and more aggressive swipes across the whole thing. Then it slowly moves like an inchworm in the more aggravated direction. So that's the only drawback of a mid base. You give up the grip for something more consistent and balanced. On to the next, stitching. Bloody brilliant, really. It's tight, slim, and on the exact same level or even just lower than the surface itself. I'm always a fan of that. Especially for those random instances where you might fly off the sides of the pad whilst tracking or for those low sense players needing to flick across the pad for 180 degree turn. So I tested out the smallest skates I have to see if there was any interference. So I used the new X-Ray Pad Infinity Skates dots and even then I couldn't feel the seam of the stitching to the side of the pad. Just one consistent buttery smooth glide until I went over the edge onto my table. Now what's most important to me is the surface. On my first like hand wipe over the top, it felt almost familiar, like a heen but not quite. The Heian has a slight bigger texture per jacket bump on the surface and is noticeably rougher on the skin, whereas the Ambition feels like a very high, like 1200 grit esque sandpaper without the abrasiveness, so I can comfortably play for quite some time. The company states that the surface is a balanced speed control pad, and they're not wrong to an extent. I had to focus on my first couple sessions with the pad as I'm more into the full on speed pads. But this was noticeably slower while using my Spire slides, which was a bit faster than core pads. It does have a slight bit of speed, but definitely leans to like more towards the control side. I ended up switching to my Starlight 12 with the X-Ray Pad Obsidian Speed Skates, and it made the sessions way nicer. There wasn't that strong of an initial tug on the surface, although it isn't insanely strong to begin with. The glide is really good and consistent, and regardless of the skates I used, the stopping power was mid-strong, leaning definitely more towards the stronger side. I would definitely not compare the pad between the top three artisan pads being the Heian, Otsu, and the Zero, as even those are a bit faster than this. 
Warsaw and Poe with the Infinity Mice, the dual pad I reviewed like quite a few months back, as it also had a mid poron esque base and also a hybrid speed control surface that also leaned more towards the control side. So here's a side by side comparison of a very scientific test done across the zero mid, the dual mid and the ambition pad. Now for the conclusion. Overall I'm really impressed. The quality is bloody good for a first time product. The build is strong, the surface is not abrasive and the stitching will for sure hold up for a while. I'd definitely say the Ambition Pad is one that focuses more on tracking and recoil based games like Apex Legends for example. Flicking isn't strongly doable unless you really force it or use really small speed dots. I was constantly using the, sp the Starlight 12 with Obsidian speed dots and even then had a smidge of a struggle to play how I normally do, which is playing with my wrist. So I kind of forced myself to play with my arm and more so focus on tracking than my speedy near non-initial friction flicks. But of course the age old question, is it worth it? To an extent, yes. The pad comes in at 77 New Zealand dollars, so a fair bit more doable than the artisanal cost, but then again I just recommend this to the group of people who focus more on tracking and heavy recoil oriented games. GG's to focus and I'm super stoked to see what they come out with next. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one and a peace. On my roof. 96 flesh, 96 flesh. On my bed, on my door, on my door, on my door, I can't hold my door. Oh my days, I'm so much better. I mean, Thank you.